robot here is a is the robot that we design uh, and manufacture high resolution fibrous structures that are basically uh, mechanical analogs of the extracellular tissue matrix um, and the, the, the big um, you know, novelty of this robot is that conventional 3D printers can print um, lattice structures, scaffolds, uh, we use the term interchangeably, with geometrical feature sizes at the order of half a millimeter. This one goes down to the single cell level and you can print three-dimensional structures with absolute control in the, in the porous architecture and geometrical features down to 10 microns. So it means, you know, 10 times less. So each fiber of this three-dimensional structure has a diameter of 10 micron, while the single hair diameter is 100 micron. So one single hair from our, bo from our body has a diameter of around 100 micron. Those fibers, those scaffolds, they have fibers down to 10 microns, so they are the perfect three-dimensional microenvironment for cells to, to grow and proliferate and create tissue. And what would be the medical application of these structures? Uh, implantable devices that, by implantable biodegradable devices that drive the innate tissue regeneration to heal traumas. And you're looking into healing breast cancer? Yeah, uh, not healing breast cancer, uh, uh, you know, uh, actually f repairing uh, breast tissue after, after breast mastectomy, you know, trying to repair instead of replacing it with other tissue, repairing it uh, using those uh, scaffolds that are not permanent. They drive the innate tissue regeneration and then they are lost um, safely through the body. Uh, if, these are medical grade plastics, polymers that are FDA approved. Raw material. If this, if all goes well with your research, how long before this can actually help women who have mastectomies? Five to seven years.